Hi there, and welcome to today's 10 minute IT jam. Today we have a new executive. We have Yaniv Hoffman. He's the VP of Technologies for Radware. He's based in Hong Kong and looks after the whole of the Asia Pacific region. Welcome on board, Yaniv. Thank you, Sean. It's great to be here. Yeah, we've only got 10 minutes, so let's crack straight into this. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about who Radware are and your key solutions? Definitely, uh, Sean. So Radware is a global leading provider of cybersecurity and application delivery solutions for the physical, for the cloud, for the software defined uh, data centers. What do we do? We secure our customers' digital experience. Uh, we make our customers' application available. We keep our customers' data confidential. We protect our customers' cloud transitions. And how do we do it? We do it through best of breed security solutions, such as DDoS, such as web application firewall, such as bot managers, such as uh, application delivery controller for the uh, multi-cloud. So regardless of the underlying environment with which they are deployed, uh, our customer can focus on their business while we keep their business continuity and uh, protection. Sounds awesome. Uh, it's really interesting that you're crossing across that whole hybrid cloud sort of environment. Okay, and how is Radware actually addressing this? What, what sort of solutions have you got right there? So before maybe I touch our uh, solution, maybe let's speak about this period because this is a special period with COVID-19. Business continuity is being uh, aired a lot as a new term. And it's clear that the COVID-19 virus has greatly impacted our lives, our personal, our work lives in all aspects. New terms like work from home, home isolation, social distancing, stormed into our lives and changed our behavior. We meet less people, we tend to go out less, we mainly avoid meetings and stay more at home. And this change of behavior is also impacting our online behavior because we stay more at home, right? The consumption of the video streaming like Netflix and YouTube and online gaming, oh God, my kids all day with the, the, the online gaming and e-learning and online purchasing that we are doing and remote uh, work rise significantly unlike previous uh, periods. This is the new, uh, new normal as, as we call it. And when we speak about the, the remote work, so companies around the world have mandated work from home policies. That means that millions of millions of workers are no longer coming to the offices or less frequently coming to the offices and staying at home. And one use case that I want to share with you that many of our customers are approaching us about is the use of the SSL VPN or a remote desktop protocol. So, we definitely see across, uh, across the world, not only in Asia Pacific, but also in uh, the North America and, and Europe, that it's gone up by 30 to 40%. And this signals the scale of working from home. But it also means that remote access has become the most significant IT resource out there. And we must ensure its availability. Otherwise, we are risking the productivity of the organization and all of our employees. And when we look, and we have a research, uh, a very large and wide uh, experience research team, when we look at the, at the entire statistic, the internet traffic across the world, we see significant increase. We see in the US, for example, 40% increase uh, since the beginning of COVID-19. We see in Europe, uh, in countries like UK or Italy, the traffic is roughly doubled and very similarly, uh, we see it in APAC. Um, and now it creates in actually um, the, the challenges and, and the demand. And le let me speak maybe shortly about it and it will, I definitely it will make uh, sense as I think it's very important for many enterprise organizations to, to hear this. So if I'm looking about this business continuity. Interesting, it sounds like you guys have a perfect look. Yes, yes, I think we have a very strong value proposition and unique solutions that are aimed 
uh, to the current uh, situation. And definitely we see in our uh, business, we see many customers that seek help, that approaching us and, and we are there uh, to support them uh, very quickly uh, in order to keep their business uh, up. Okay, interesting. So, yeah. Um, t tell me more on the solution side of things. Um, I, I realize that, um, you know, that's a, that's a perfect explanation of how business continuity and, and your solutions fit into COVID. Tell me more about how Redware is actually addressing this need. Okay, so, so I will uh, divide it maybe to two uh, topics. Uh, the first one is, I call it as manageability, visibility and uh, continuity. So we know that COVID-19 accelerated and emphasized even the importance of digital transformation that many organizations are currently have been uh, making. And we see more and more applications transitioning into the cloud. And when they move to the cloud, they need fast rollout and they need scale. And the cloud is a perfect solution. So that that is the positive side. However, the cloud also in this transition brings complexities as suddenly many of the applications are scattered all over all over in different environment different cloud uh, cloud uh, uh, solution or multi-cloud as uh, uh, we call it each with with each own interface set of tools delivery methods and this affects many personas in the organization because think about it john suddenly they need to deal with new solutions with a variety of cloud environment, okay, while they need to protect or provide a consistent service. And here we are coming uh, in with our solutions, we are agnostic of the, the, the environment. We know how to manage this solution, we know how to keep a consistency of protection, and we know how to protect the consistency of the operations, okay, in order uh, to deliver the service. Um, and we have a variety of uh, solutions uh, uh, there. And if I, I break it, the first one is application uh, delivery controller. And this keeps and this ensures the SLA of the application, the availability of the application, no matter if it's in the AWS cloud, public cloud, or Azure cloud, or Google cloud, or tomorrow in uh, Alibaba cloud, on, or in the traditional data center. You have a single pane of glass for a ADC, application delivery controller. You can get very uh, deep insights and visibility into your application. You have granular license that you can uh, uh, manage, purchase, and easily manage your capacity. And you have the agility to move wherever you want, whenever you want, in a very simplified uh, way. Th this is one. Um, in regards to security, what we do see security and capacity, we do see a few changes. And definitely there is a peak in attacks. We see more volumetric attacks and we see more complexity in the, in the attacks. So few drivers there, at least in COVID-19. One is the increase of the threat uh, surface. We spoke about the remote work. Think the majority of the employees in the organizations are working from home. I'm at home now, you are at home uh, uh, now. We're accessing our uh, system through our uh, uh, VPN access or remote desktop. If a DDoS attack will attack these elements in the data center, in the organization, we will uh, put the entire business on a grinding halt. So this is one. Second, we moved all of our applications into the public cloud, the private clouds, the data center. Now the threat landscape is much wider, more complex to, to protect. So our solutions can live in any form factors. They can be an hardware, they can be a software, they can be a cloud uh, uh, base. So it gives us the ability, as you mentioned, with the hybrid solutions to protect you ev everywhere, anytime. Um, mostly now, the, the second thing we see is more load on the internet and the cloud infrastructure. We talked about the consumption of the videos and online gaming and e-learning and remote access. So definitely many organizations uh, are reaching very easily the tipping, uh, tipping point for scale and unavailability is more closer than, uh, than it was uh, before. 
Um, so they need to prepare for that. And last but not least, we also see increase in malicious activities like phishing, like ransomware, all kinds of scams uh, leveraging the COVID-19 situation. We saw it all around uh, in, in Japan and in the US and in uh, Asian uh, uh, countries, but also we saw it in uh, Australia in some ransomware, mega ransomware uh, uh, attacks on some mega organizations. Um, and last but not least, also bots. Uh, we see more and more bots as the technology is more sophisticated, automated, and these bots are trying to steal data. They try to take a, a account, to do account takeover, fraud, uh, and etc. So, so this is all of what we see. And for all of this suite of uh, threats, we have a suite of solution based on one technology, one single pane, very uh, simplified the way to manage and more importantly maybe for many companies in this situation economic situation even in a very cost effective way sounds great the idea of it being cost effective and unified rings a lot of good bells and uh, in the australia and new zealand market how do you support your customers locally um so i think uh, we are uh, um in Australia for maybe now 20 years. We are maybe the best kept secret uh, here and we are starting now to, to create more uh, buzz. Definitely, we have a, a solid uh, team here and we see uh, Australia and New Zealand market as strategic, advanced and innovative uh, market. We have sales teams here, engineering teams here, customer care uh, teams here because the user experience become at the top of their minds of any organization uh, today because the, the consumers uh, measure the service. They, don't, they are not familiar with the product anymore. It's the way the service is given. This is how they measure it and mark it. So, so definitely we're investing in customer care, engineering, cloud operation uh, as the entire uh, application, the digital transformation, moving us more to the cloud. Uh, we have also a strong ecosystem here, and I will maybe mention uh, two, two of the biggest names, uh, Cisco and uh, Checkpoint, where we have a worldwide partnership, very tight. Uh, they are se reselling our uh, solution, they are certified on our solution, we are part of their uh, um, go-to-market and engagement and we are very happy and uh, appreciated by uh, their uh, coverage as it provides us a better reach, better confidence to our customers and unique, uh, better together uh, solutions. Uh, um, last but not least, um, two years ago, we built a, a significant scrubbing center um, for security in uh, Sydney. So it's based on Sydney, it serves uh, our local customers, so it can help them to mitigate uh, attacks, it can help them scrap the traffic inside uh, Australia to be aligned with the, the regulations, uh, and it's part of our global uh, uh, security network with more than five terabit per second, so we can handle any attack at any volume, any sophistication, um, definitely in Australia. And, and we see more and more customers that are, are joining and onboarding our service, especially in these uh, uh, days of COVID-19 and digital transformation. Sounds great. It's good to see a local commitment. And uh, sort of finally, um, any closing advice for customers um, in this sort of tough time? Yes, so, so when I'm trying to summarize all of these uh, changes, there are many changes due to the situ situation, but I'm, I'm trying to give the best advice to enterprise customer on what to focus on, their IT environments in this period. I see four main takeaways. The first one is enable the capacity in, uh, expansion. You need to ensure you have enough capacity for your remote access, for the, the demand, the online demand that uh, is increasing. And we spoke, we spoke about the numbers, 40% in North America, almost double in, in, in the rest of the world. We need to ensure the remote access uh, availability as this becomes the most important IT infrastructure uh, out there. Uh, controlling the whole productivity. So absolutely infrastructure must be available at all times. So I really recommend 
redundant, uh, um, redundant connections, redundant uh, firewalls, redundant SSL VPN. We need to ensure that this infrastructure stays up all the time. This is very important. Uh, third, it's to protect the access, uh, the remote access and infrastructure and application. It's not enough to have the capacity. Uh, it's also require a, a more advanced next generation security solutions in order to protect these elements because now it's a, a lucrative a target for a, a attackers and an impact on these elements will take the entire productivity of an, an organization and the damage is much far higher than was before. And last but not least, we need to secure our cloud environments. We spoke about it, applications are scattered in the entire uh, public cloud, private uh, uh, cloud, we need to have the right controllers, security controllers, in order, in order to, to do it effectively and efficiently. And that, that's, in, on a nutshell, my four main takeaways in this uh, uh, period. I appreciate that very much. You've done so well to squeeze that all into 10 minutes. Today, we've had Yenip Hoffman. He's the VP of Technologies across Asia Pacific for Radware. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Sean. All the best.